Where's my coffee? Hello, my Alusha Connect family. Welcome back to another Spill Tea, this time on Phoebe. We're gonna read her story and look at her skills and her skins, gawk at her a little bit, and watch that crazy fight against the bot. Enjoy. Uh, Dev loved Phoebe. Yes, I'll get to that again. Pretty much, you know, the skins and everything she's gotten in the game. She's pretty dev loved. Anyways, Phoebe, if you didn't know, she is the only traditional dev dollar girl. She's the only girl you really have to purchase in order to unlock. There's a couple other that you can purchase some, some shard packs for, but Phoebe is the OG. She's given them money. Anyways, work it, girl. Uh, let's get into her story here. So we have Executive Director of Asia Alternate. Okay. And then clipping this stuff ahead of time before my voice recording, I haven't really gone through these stories. You'll see there's like a, the new icon, a uh, red dot on my stories. And like I've said before, I have not read into the intimacy stories. There's only a couple units that I actually have gone into because of out of curiosity and they had to do with Hatter. So give me freaking Hatter. Anyways, uh, let's go on to this. Phoebe, the master of the Ho'u family and the Phoenix ex executive director of Asia, alternate. The word alternate is just like ink dots on white paper. It reminds Phoebe of the difference in authority between her and Miyuki. On the influence of finance, the Hoyo family is equal to the Suga family. Miyuki hasn't read the Scroll of Life and is not comparable to Phoebe. That woman is taller than her and fatter than her. Why is Phoebe an alternate? Miyuki is so annoying, especially when considering Miyuki did that to her in the past. Hmm? All seeing eye. Beside the weaver's bridge rises black magpies and from the fairy tower flies a phoenix. Mind reading is not a very rare talent in the Radiance world. Phoebe is good at using this ability to know what people fear or love, so as to find out their weaknesses. Unfortunately, this kind of skill didn't seem to work on her old enemy, Miyuki. If it worked, Phoebe stopped writing calligraphy and thinks with frustration, she would have known that Miyuki was not happy with the way she was wearing the scroll of life and would certainly have dodged her attack. Was it really that strange to wear it on my chest? However, it was very convenient for battle. No, it, it must have been Miyuki who was being strange. Okay, so it just dawned on me. She's wearing the scroll. All right. Anyways, moving on. Next page. The whole world. In her childhood, Phoebe, the successor of the Hoyu family, was raised in an extremely strict manner. She later rebelled and left home, which Beatrice and Phoebe felt like old friends at their first meeting. Beatrice strangely thought that Phoebe's mocking words were cute. After that, Phoebe lived a reckless period of her life in Libros. But when she learned that her father, the former family master, had disappeared, Phoebe gave up her freedom and went back to the Hoyo family to take over her responsibilities. She was not understood by the witch, but was in urgent need of support. At that time, Phoebe, who was eager to be recognized, received a letter from her old enemy, Miyuki. In the whole world, there are three people I love. Blushing and complaining that the letter was cringy, Phoebe received recognition from Miyuki. Princess Taeping. Princess Taeping grew up in the royal family of the Tang Dynasty and had a dark secret. She could read people's minds. She found that in the court, some people wear smiles on their faces but carry malice in their hearts. She did not dare tell her mother this secret because she saw that her mother's heart had been wrapped into solid ice by something called power. After growing up, Princess Taeping began to like exposing people's inner thoughts. She finally realized why her mother was so attached to the throne. Princess Taeping spent her whole life playing with human nature and power. In her later years, she went crazy, but she eventually came to her senses. Before she died, she opened the scroll of life and unrolled it in front of her and retained this ability in another form. And here we go now with Phoebe's Link story. 
During battle, the Hoya family's master disappeared strangely. Since then, the Hoya family had been fighting inside and had been losing in the competition with the Suga families. In order to change the situation, the elders held a selection meeting for an heir and brought out their family's heirloom, Scroll of Life. Those who could enter the scroll and get approval from within could inherit the whole Hoya family. All competitors fought both with open and secret means, and the situation was inevitable. However, in the end, it was Phoebe who came out of the scroll of life. She had run away from home. No one even knew when she had come back and when she entered the scroll of life. But none of those were important anymore. The new Hoya family master was born. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Phoebe's intimacy story and my read through. Thanks guys for listening. Appreciate it. Uh, let's start out gawking at her. Uh, she's actually really great being cosplayed. If you haven't seen some of the cosplay images, you should check those out. But yeah, she's got the scrolls as uh, her bra, I guess. Um, yep. Yeah. I don't know where she gets her scrolls from. Um, and yeah, she's uh, chill, you know, floating around. Uh, her look, I do, it's not my favorite. I don't really have much to say. This skin though here, this one, the Bird of Happiness, beautiful, so gorgeous. The colors, I love it. I love the dark, dark indigos, dark blues, dark purples. You probably have caught on to that with some of my themes uh, for my profiles and things like that. And again, my skin tickets are low. If you haven't figured out why, it's because I haven't posted it on YouTube, but if you're on the Discord, you probably already know why. I, I, brag about that skin a lot the one I bought and this this is a world-class power skin her awakening look very cool um, the background Phoenix though kind of looks like Elsa the face I don't know anyways um, I, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing there and then her other look is the one that you could get um, through the um, skin store I believe the Phoenix arrival it was either skin store or you could buy it I'm not sure I don't have this one uh, it says right there not obtained but anyways yeah beautiful look love this love the phoenix look um love being able to see the phoenix and not just being kind of like oh she's a bird girl with scrolls um anyways so there's um a lot to a lot to take in with that skin as well with the background image right so it's not just uh it's not just you looking at a change in her appearance looking at a change in the scenery around her too so very nice very nice art some of the newer art that we're getting in the game is really cool with phoebe's skills i think the main reason why people use her is because of her defense down against the opposing team as well as her self-revival so um pair that with whale pin yes yeah, she does revive multiple times um, she also can have the chance to give your leader a shield. So um, I'll show on screen her, her skills if you don't have her so you can get an idea of what she can do for you. Um, the big thing, like even for myself, I try and stick with the defense down. She's kind of tanky um, in that um, sense if you put her in that uh, spot five there, right about, right at, in front of the leader, then you're going to get um, some sustainability from her that's gonna protect your uh, leader. Even if Kasumi comes in, if she's still got that ability to revive herself, she'll come back right away. So you kind of have a second chance of living. So there's a lot of ways you can use her. Also, her attacking is very decent. Like she's, she she hits hard, self-sustains, um, regen or um, not regenerates, uh, reincarnates herself, I guess. Um, and uh, also then um, her debuffing on the on the team on the opposing team. So she is worth the one dollar. It is only one dollar. And Phoebe is one of those units that you have to have unlocked first in order to pull them again from the Radiant banner. So put in that one dollar, and at least then you can have a chance to get her from Radiant. She's a really good light unit. I've mentioned before that light units are really strong in Illusion Connect, and I stand by that. Um, I don't have her awakened. She does have awakening skill. Um, I don't have her awakened, so I don't really want to get into that. Um, with these videos, I don't talk about gear I don't use. I don't talk about units that I don't use. I'll, so I'll bring up some other units down the road once I finish with my own set of units I use, like the 10 or 11, 12 units that I have raised up for normal, like everyday use. Um, but with Phoebe, I think she's great on every single team and the same with my Mayuki and those other kind of um, no-brainer units. The gear that I use in her, I use her gear. 
at the start when I started playing Illusion Connect, actually, I was using like auto gear function just to let the computer kind of put gear on, and that worked for me at first. Now I'm starting to get into using specific gear based off of other people's feedback. And um, you can see here, like I have our stars done up, but I don't have our awakened yet. That's a very long grind for me. In Arcana, you might get one scroll. If you get three or two, you're lucky. Keep going at it. But I don't really grind Arcana out that often, uh, especially for. Um, a unit that is pretty strong already. She, you know, six stars, she's good. Um, Awakening will come. So that's that. That's about Phoebe. Um, also, her energy cost is pretty decent. Like 15 energy cost isn't too high. It's, it's you know, it could be lower, of course. Um, but, you know, she's really overall around solid unit. For PVE, I think she's a must if you have her, put her on every one of your teams for going against environment uh, story, um, things like that. Uh, for PvP, for 10 Saints, she can kind of be standalone with a bunch of um, plebs or even just on her own team. She kind of works as two units. She's like two in one unit. Um, and for PvP, RTH, I don't know. I don't think she's necessarily needed. She's great to have again for sustainability if you wanted to sustain. I guess she could kind of be more considered like a fill rather than somebody you're focusing on. Um, for your RTA team uh, because she was more abused and used when she had the bug, right, with the whale pin. So, okay, you know, she's, I guess it's up to you. For me, I usually only have two or three units that I'm building on and the rest are fill. So, yeah, go with your strategy and how you build teams. Now, let's watch her fight. How much you want to bet she's going to be to the right of my lead? Well, I lost that bet, you guys. Wow. Okay, so yeah, again, I don't know why the computer places units when you have it on auto. Is it because they are used to your strategy or is that how they would want her to be played? Okay, really not sure about that. Um, anyways, uh, she's going to sustain. Yeah, she does all right. Um, she's taken all the hits from um, for my leader, right? So she's going to die first. We can make that bet. Can we do that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, please do like and subscribe. I have to throw that out because I put these little cheeses up and I got some faux on there. If you didn't catch, it's not soup, it's faux, okay? Her nickname is faux. Yeah, she's done. She died. But, she, yeah. It is what it is. Remember, this is just like demonstration. So, heavy hits, uh, defense down, uh, sustaining, taking hits from the lead. She'll aggro um, if you've got her placed one spot uh, ahead. So, if there's a space between leader and so in spot two there. That is it. So, yeah, worth a dollar. Uh, let me know in the next video if you would prefer seeing Kyria or Fedebeth. And um, until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And be weird. Summertime weird. Wear bikini. Bye. I guess, um, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know what she gets. She gets. She get, I don't know where she gets her scroll. Phoenix Rising, so, um, it's, well, not Phoenix Rising, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, and this, this is a world-class power skin.